Yellowstone is one of those shows that stands out with its multiple aspects. From the scenario to the acting, cinematography to directing, the show thrives in every single aspect, so it is difficult to pinpoint what exactly makes it perfect. One thing is clear though, Taylor Sheridan knows how to cast for his characters. Not only in terms of the looks, but also in terms of the acting ability. In fact, you'd be surprised to hear how many epic scenes in the show are actually improvised by the actors. And that alone shows what kind of great cast that all the Yellowstone shows have. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of those improvised instances. Previously, several members of the Yellowstone cast have suggested that Sharon is open to actors deviating from the scripted lines on occasion. For instance, Jefferson White, who stars as Jimmy Herdstrom on the show, revealed that viewers can observe this improvisational element, particularly in scenes set in the bunkhouse where the cowhands interact. He explained that they are given the freedom to ad-lib and veer off script, and Sheridan possesses the skill to incorporate this spontaneous creativity into the day's shoot and later during the editing process, aligning it with the desired atmosphere. However, this creative freedom extends beyond just the cowhands. Other cast members also had opportunities to display their improvisational talents. David Cleveland Brown, who portrayed Beth's assistant Jason in the show's initial two seasons, shared in the past that improvisation added an extra layer of authenticity to an interaction he had with the Dutton family's patriarch, aka John Dutton. He recalled a scene where he extended his hand for a handshake, a gesture not originally in the script. He believed it would inject some fun into the scene, especially since he knew that Kevin Costner's character would essentially reject him. To his delight, this improvised addition made it into the final scene, and it was one of the most impactful scenes of that particular season, apparently. This tradition of improvision spread into the Yellowstone spin-off series as well. In a recent interview, Michelle Randolph, who stars as Elizabeth on the show, revealed that her character's marriage vows with Jack were basically improvised. In the interview, it's brought up that during their personal wedding vows, Jack affectionately addresses her as Liz, while she refers to herself as Elizabeth. When questioned if this choice was deliberate, she said the following, Darren and I actually discussed this because the script had it as Liz. I pondered whether he should use Elizabeth instead. Elizabeth carries more weight, but Liz is his endearing nickname for her. It's his personal way of addressing her. We had a conversation about it, but I don't think there was a deep significance behind it. Moreover, when I say, I, Elizabeth Dutton, it kind of fades into the background. And that part was actually improvised. It wasn't originally scripted, so it's a fun detail they decided to include. Although this might seem heartwarming at first glance, a closer examination reveals that when her full name fades into the background, it symbolizes her previous life undergoing a similar transformation. In a way, her character transitions from Elizabeth to Liz by getting married into the Duttons by cutting her ties to her family. So this improvised scene also has a symbolic value for Elizabeth's character. Despite the enjoyment actors derive from these spontaneous moments, Luke Grimes, who stars as Casey on the show, emphasized in a previous interview that Sheridan prefers to maintain a shroud of secrecy around the show's future trajectory. Grimes explained that while Sheridan has a clear vision of where the show is headed and how it will ultimately conclude, he deliberately withholds these details from the cast, adding an element of suspense and excitement. This means that it is a risk to take bold steps in these shows for the sake of improvising a scene. Nevertheless, I applaud the actors who contribute their own personality and take to the characters, as I believe such improvised scenes make these shows much more authentic. But what do you think? Which Yellowstone scenes do you suspect to be improvised? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you soon.